Franklin the turtle, the neighborhood mascot. Can you imagine running over a turtle slowly like that? Oh, I would cry. I would I, cry. I don't think it would break. It would break. It would shatter and squish. Oh, I can. But what is up, YouTube? What was the last thing we filmed? New York? New York. We're back from New York. We're settled in. We're chilling. We're hanging out. <clears throat> having a good time. Today, there's not much to this vlog, but we're I'm gonna go get some needling done. Gonna get some food with Calvin because he hasn't eaten yet today, and then we're gonna train. We're also doing a bunch of ad stuff for Raw, filming some stuff for that, so stay tuned to have your Instagram feed bombarded with me in your ads, but you're welcome. So yeah, not, not a whole lot going on. We're just trying to catch up. Very busy right now. I'm gonna go the needling done. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of that process. The guy who's been doing this name is Jeff Hart. It's helped my migraine so much. I just saw him two days ago, honestly, because I had a headache and he does needles for my neck and back. Today, I want to see if he can do more of my chest stuff to open it up. So we're going to get through that. And then I wish I could ask you to comment below where we should eat, but I guess I could just ask Calvin where we'll eat. And then we'll show you and you can tell us where to eat next time. So see you there. Please grab that. Uh, okay. Yeah, man, for sure. Yeah, cool, we can do that. I'm actually gonna grab a couple towels, so... The chest, take a bumper? Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna do a little bit of both, you wanna hit more, more of the chest stuff. It's just been so tight up in here, like, I don't know if it's sitting on my desk more now than me or what, but it's yeah. been, like, specifically in here, like, hit it, I can feel my neck almost like... Yeah, so we can hit a little bit of the interior neck, too. So we yeah. can get, like, the SEM and scaling to go through the neck. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just on the left side? Uh, it's both sides. The left, the left is worse? worse yeah. yeah, 100%. Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, let's take the shirt off. Do you, do you notice any asymmetries with your movement? Or like how you're moving? Or does it feel like different in the gym right now? Or not really? Not in the gym. I find yeah. I'm maybe kind of like tilted a little that way. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> when I, I just find when I sit, I'm always kind of like kind of this arm's yeah. up or like yeah. this arm's always up or leaning. When you're driving, are you here? I'm like, I have my arm Yeah, so it's... Intra yeah. You're internally rotating and you're plus yeah. four. Okay. So left side would be a little tighter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I lay, feel that yeah. like coming into my... Yeah. Lay, yeah. lay in your back. And then let's get into... I'm going to move your shoulders down. We'll see if it looks like overly locked up. And then we'll go from the next one. <clears throat> So I just got jabbed by a bunch of needles and my chest is feeling a little more relaxed. I think part of the reason I get my neck pain is just posture, tight chest, tight neck, everything. So I'm trying to loosen it all up, strengthen what I need. But now we're hungry and we're gonna grab some food. Whenever I'm like out, there's like specific foods I like to eat. There's no like whole foods or anything around. That's the easiest way to eat clean food when you're out. So we're gonna go find some poke. Poke is always fire, it's always clean. A little healthy option. We don't really know exactly where it is, but there's two smoothie cafes and it's in one of them. So we're driving over there right now to get some delicious fish and rice, nice and raw, and that's it. Not your typical poke bowl place, but that'll do. There's not many Asian restaurants around here that are like, I guess it's Hawaiian, but this'll do. It's delicious, you'll see. I'll do a build your own. It's a good looking bowl of poke right there. It's a little Americanized. I don't know why I say that. But it is. But that's good shit. Big bowl. Got double tuna. Full rice base. And honestly, probably my favorite part of 
sushi and poke with the seaweed salad. It's so damn good. I made these at home one day. The Sprouts has like pre-made ahi tuna that you can buy and I bought all the ingredients. We made like huge poke bowls at home. And I just ate pounds of seaweed salad. It was delicious. So we're gonna enjoy this and then me and Calvin have more work to do. Protein bars. Protein bars. Should we go get a protein bar? Okay. I'm being fat. I'm over being lean. I'm still too lean. So we're turning to Snack King right now. We're gonna go get some protein bars. We call it research, actually, because Raw is coming out with a bar soon. And we are working on making it taste like freaking crap. It, we had samples from the person making it, not our samples, but what they can do. They tasted so good. So we're gonna go in here. Get another bar, and I'm gonna call it research, but realistically, I'm just being fatty right now, and I want more food. How's it going? Back right now, honestly. Quick bar. Peter, very crispy. White chocolate raspberry quest bar used to be so used to be. <laughs> I can't choose which one, so we're gonna get peanut butter crisp and munchies. Shout out to Katie Kern. Katie Kern, did I just combine her name? <laughs> Katie, Katie Kern, Kern and Hayden Schneider. You're trying on your bars today. How are you? Awesome, man. Thanks. Congrats, man. Oh, thank you. Congrats, man. Appreciate it. I almost don't want to run it up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Charging for my water. <laughs> right, let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why? Why? Yeah. It, well, not that I'm a like, oh, yeah, part owner of they're right down the street. So me being involved with them helps a lot. First bite, I like it. Good amount of peanut butter, very peanut butter, good texture, creamy on the outside. I'm sure they're not very healthy, but they definitely taste good. So, I like it. I'm a fan, but ours will be better. <laughs> ours will be much better. I don't know why, but I'm very tired today, so we're getting lit in the car before going to the gym. We're still wrapping up this video that we're shooting for the ads, so we're going to go in the gym, we have a scene we got to film. But while we do that, I'm going to sip on my pre-workout, and I don't even know what flavor I just took. Rocky candy. I just grabbed the bottle before I left the house. So, we're going to have to pre-workout, try and get lit, and do a quick shoulder workout. Most of are coming over to my place tonight, so we're going to head home and make food, but I wanted to get a workout in. So, it's going to be a quick one, 30, 45 minutes, and then post-workout. I'm just thinking about food today. I don't know what's wrong with me. But I really want like a protein ice cream with some cereal. So we'll see. Maybe I'll go home and make that after. But I'll see you in the gym. Alright, so shoulder workout. Like I said, workouts still aren't very intense right now. I did hot yoga yesterday. I spoke about that in my last video. And it hurt me. I'm like sore and I'm tired right now. So we're going to have a quick shoulder workout. I'm going to superset a bunch of stuff. I'm starting to warm up. I did a little band work off camera. I'm going to do reverse delts and machine auto raises just to really get warmed up. Like I said, my workouts aren't intense right now. Definitely do a machine press, a dumbbell lateral raise, but we're gonna figure it as we go. Do a bunch of supersets, high volume, get in and out of here in probably 45 minutes. So, make it work, put that poke bowl to work, put that protein bar to work, and that's it.
Calvin convinced me to do some free weights to my comp. What's the word when you like compromise? Like compromise is pushing it here, so it's not fully free weight. Because he's doing some cleans. Are you doing cleans? Yeah. So maybe I'll grab the camera and show you guys his top set of cleans because yeah. form's pretty impressive. He just said no, but we'll see. But doing, gonna superset this when I'm warm. The push against the squat rack shoulder press and on the side lateral raise 25 pound plates and yeah it's gonna be the super set so that's all I gotta say guess they should put some more weight on as Mr. Derek likes to say more plates more dates I need clips because I'm all over the place today. So I'm gonna probably drop these on my head. Here. So I'm compromising, let me use a big bumper place. <coughs> Wait, did it die or? No. Oh, I thought you were saying it was Yeah, they don't have a small plate, so I'm compromising. I remember the word compromise too right there. Use the big bumper place. It actually helps because it doesn't let you cheat. It locks your list, wrist straight because the plate's all up here. Lisp? Lisp. It's a rough day, all right guys? Give me a break. It locks your wrist in, so you have to hold it straight. You can't cheat at all, it makes it really hard. I could do like 20 reps with a dumbbell, like 10 with the plate. So it works, it helps isolate the delta a little bit more. Calvin literally told me to wait for this. So I'm gonna make it undramatic as possible. Sorry, too tough. Goon lighting. Goon lighting.
Fuck you. What? Fuck you. Well, it's rude to go at the same time as someone. No, I'm showing his weights and then yours. Oh. Lol. Decided mid shoulder workout to get a cheeky little calf pump. Whenever I like put on weight, I feel like a bunch of them just goes through my calves, and then I don't train calves because they look good, and then they disappear. So I'm trying to get ahead of it this year. And even if I'm not training for a bit and I'm resting more, maybe I'll just come into the gym and do 20 minutes of calves and go home once a week. It's a good idea. I'm gonna come in and do biceps one day. Take two days off, do calves, take three days off, repeat, and that's how I'm gonna get flat thick AF. Sometimes you just gotta finish calf with a quadruple drop set and put the pain of glory inside of it. Alright, next superset, do a little face pulls with front raises, lying on the bench, because that's one of my favorite things to do. And that's probably gonna be a wrap on the workout.
All right, so it's gonna be a wrap on today's shoulder workout plus a little bit of calves. I'm gonna head home right now, make a nice delicious treat. So I will see you guys at home. All right, so post-workout shake, shake begins with ice. Sadly, my ice crusher in the refrigerator broke, so we have whole ice cubes. And the secret to getting great texture is a frozen banana. So I have like three quarters of a frozen banana in there. Courtney like peels them, cuts them up, and then puts them in like a Ziploc bag in the freezer so they're ready. Then I got a scoop of glutamine for some nice recovery. And I'm doing chocolate because what I put in after is not chocolate, so. You'll see that when it comes. But I'm just gonna do probably like a scoop and a half of raw chocolate protein. The goat chocolate protein. It's like a rich dark chocolate and I like it so much better than like the light milk type chocolates. A little bit of almond milk in the bottom. And then I don't babe, have you ever done protein ice cream in a Vitamix? Yeah, just don't over liquefy it. Don't over liquefy no. it? Should I put very minimal water? Yeah. This is lit. Is there an ice cream option? No, actually there is. Really? Yeah, but like... Oh, there's an ice cream option. Ice cream. Let's see if that works. <laughs> Jet engine taking it off. This thing is a beast. I was hesitant to get the Vitamix cord, I've always wanted one, and now I'm the one who loves it and uses it three times a day. Because it fucking. Yeah, me. I've been trying to fucking get you to get one of these. Like, they're amazing. They're for three years. Huh? <laughs> for three years. <laughs> I'm like, you're gonna love it. And here we are. And now he's obsessed. Try it again. <laughs> For some reason it didn't hit the blades. I don't know how it didn't happen, but it worked. Let's see how thick this is. Oh shit. It's like real soft serve ice cream. Texture is beautiful. Not quite soft serve ice cream, but for protein, water, almond milk, I'll take it any day. Because it's fall, we're being a basic white girl, and we got some pumpkin spice three wishes cereal. The cereal is very healthy, right, babe? Yeah, it's made with chickpeas. It's made with chickpeas. It has eight grams of protein and three grams of sugar. How you get all your More protein, less sugar, gluten free. So we're gonna weigh this out and I'm gonna have 50 grams of it. I have 60 grams of it. This is where 
I get roasted on the internet because if you call the ice cream the milk and the cereal the cereal, I put the milk in before the cereal. And I know people hate that, but it's different with protein ice cream. So let's see how it tastes. That's really good. It's like a healthy blizzard from Dairy Queen. Have your treats inside and beautiful ice cream, a big bowl. And that's probably like 400 some calories. So very healthy, very satisfying, very tasty. And that's gonna be a wrap on this random vlog day in the life. Not much going on, but we have a few more fun things planned for the next few videos. So stay tuned. This is kind of like a random day in my life. Me and Calvin just been filming ad stuff to get ready for Raw. And we're gonna finish that up tonight. Enjoy my treats and I'll see you guys in the next video.